Hi, Grant Newby here from the Gold Coast. I uh, surf at Corumban, live in Ashmore, and uh, build wooden surfboards as a hobby. And uh, came along today to support Greg with this sustainable uh, event. And the boards that I build are pretty uh, close to the mark for sustainability. They're um, made out of recyclable EPS, polystyrene, and um, polonia timber and they're sealed with uh, lanolin, the natural grease out of sheep wool and that uh, nourishes the timber, waterproofs them and then when that hits salt water it's stickier than wax. So all the components float and the only uh, outside element is a small bit of resin that holds the fin boxes in. So other than that they're about as green as you can make a surfboard as far as I know. So yeah. I went to a, another eco challenge up at Coolum at the end of last year and a great day up there and had a lot of kids uh, out riding my boards and sort of getting them very enthused with uh, boards that are totally different and because they're natural wood and there's uh, no resin on them it's a really different feeling surfing on one but also just paddling one lying on natural wood so yeah it's a bit of a different uh, uh, feeling for most people yeah basically I've built wooden boards in as many possible ways as you can and what I've come to is the simplest way of building a wooden board and the outcome has become a very sustainable product for sure yeah and uh, but for other people organizing something like this look you'll be surprised how many people are uh, trying to build wooden surfboards all over the place people who don't even surf love to build wooden surfboards and so uh, I think you'd be pretty surprised how many people out there are giving it a go. I have a wooden surfboard blog and I've had over 800,000 people visit it uh, from all over the world so there's a lot of interest. I think wood has a natural allure to a lot of people uh, in, in all sorts of arts and crafts and uh, you know you get people who build ukuleles and guitars and they don't know how to play one but just to challenge them with their woodworking skills and just the art of woodworking and I mean, if you love your surfing and you want to make a surfboard, there's nothing better than standing up and catching that first wave on something you built yourself. And if it's wood, even better.